This is the DJI wireless microphone system. And this is very similar to the Rode Wireless Go 2. You get two transmitters, you get one receiver, and it's super compact to be able to take with you anywhere. However, the DJI mic has a lot of features that make it a much better choice than the Rode Wireless Go 2. So in this video, I wanna go through 10 reasons why you're gonna to wanna to get the DJI mic and what makes this so different than the other small wireless audio systems that are available. So the rest of this video is gonna be shot using the DJI mic and right now, I'm on an 85 millimeter lens, way out over there, and uh, I'm just using the mic right here mounted to my backpack. So the first reason that you're gonna wanna get the system is the charging case that comes with the DJI mic. So it comes with a case that charges both the transmitters and the receiver. This case has a battery built into it. So each transmitter gets five and a half hours of battery life, and the receiver gets five hours of battery life. However, using the charging case, you can charge all three of these devices at once, and you can charge them pretty much two times, which basically means you get 15 hours of use on both the transmitters and the receiver. Now on the battery pack itself, you have a USB-C on the back of it, and both the transmitters and the receiver also have a USB-C. So if you're not using the battery pack that comes with this kit, you could just plug in the USB-C, and then you'll be able to charge it that way as well. So reason number two is the built-in touchscreen, and the fact that you could see the screen, whether you're in front of the camera or behind the camera. So right now I'm doing this in vlog style and the DJI mic is mounted right on top of the camera and the information is all being displayed where I can see it. So I can see all of my settings and I can see my audio levels and I'm not just having to rely on the camera. On the Rode Wireless Go 2, it's on top. So no matter what you do, you have to get up and above your camera. On the DJI mic, you can rotate the receiver so that it faces towards the front or towards the back and also, it's a touch screen. So all of your controls are either a swipe up or down, and then you can go into the menus and actually turn on or turn off different features. The touch screen is just more intuitive and it's easier to find all of your settings and you don't have to rely on a computer or another app to be able to turn on and off certain settings. So for example, if you wanted to turn on both microphones and have it on the left and right channel, you just swipe down, you click the selection button, then you can toggle between mono or stereo, and this is also where you can add in the safety channel. But just having this touch screen just gives you all of your control on the device itself, and it's so easy to read and be able to see exactly what settings you have turned on. And if you need to make a switch while you're out recording, just a, it's a quick process. So as I hike to the next location, I wanna tell you about a new editing course that I just released. It's a two hour comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to edit using Final Cut Pro. I go through my entire process of my editing workflow and show you a bunch of cool ways to make the whole process easier so that you can completely understand Final Cut Pro and make a video from start to finish. So reason number three is the backup recording. I'm really far away from the camera right now, and on the transmitter, I'm also recording the same audio. And the best thing about this system is that you can trigger that from the transmitter itself. I just click the button on the side, and it starts the backup recording. Now this transmitter can hold 14 hours of backup audio. It's eight gigabytes worth of audio. And what's really great about this system is that through the USB-C on the side of the transmitter, you could just plug it directly into your computer and it pops up just like an SD card would. And you could just go in and pull all the files off at once. On the Rode Wireless Go 2, you have to use their proprietary software and then you have to go through and export each file individually. It's a huge pain point of the Rode Wireless Go 2. So with this system, you just plug it in, drag everything over to your hard drive and you're ready to start working with your backup audio files. It just makes the whole process so much easier and you don't have to use any of DJI software to be able to use this wireless microphone system.
So one thing that's really cool is that on my Shimoda bag, it looks like it was designed for the DJI mic. Now, obviously it wasn't, this bag's been out for a while, but right here, you can see I have these two loops which fit both of the transmitters perfectly. But reason number four is the safety track. If you're in a situation like this, I'm just filming myself, but I know that my audio is gonna go really high and then it's gonna get really soft. Well, I would turn on the safety channel because it records a secondary track six decibels lower than the main track. So it basically just saves you in any situation where the audio spikes and then you have the super loud sound. So if you just need to play it safe and you need that secondary channel, basically what it does is it puts one channel on the left, one channel on the right. They're duplicates, but one is six decibel lower than the other. I lost the camera. Oh, there you are, right there. Okay, so I'm on this ridge line. You guys are over on that ridge line. There's an alarm going off. But reason number five is the gain control on the transmitter. Now this is huge. You can actually adjust the gain on both the transmitter and the receiver. So on the receiver, you can go into your menu setting and you can go plus 12 decibels or minus 12 decibels. And this just makes it so much easier to use because depending on the situation you're in, you might want to adjust the gain of your transmitter and not just what's going into your camera. All right, I'm gonna hike that way and then I'm gonna come back and get the camera. Number six is the 250 meter range. That's further than the Rode Wireless Go 2. And having that little bit of extra distance allows you to get super far away. And as you've seen in this video, I've been getting super far away from the camera and the microphone's right here, right on my chest. Most of the time, you're not gonna be walking 250 meters to get your shot. However, it just gives you that flexibility. So if you do wanna put the camera down somewhere up on the cliffs over there, and do a shot like this, or if you're working on a documentary and you have two people talking and they're a little bit away, you're not gonna have issues with audio dropouts. And the best part is you have that audio backup. So you could just have the audio backup recording the entire time. So if you do need to go further than the range of these transmitters or something goes between the transmitter and the receiver, I'm gonna walk over here behind all of these cliffs. Well, you're still gonna have the backup recording. So the majority of situations that you're gonna be filming in, you'll be fine. You'll either be close enough to the camera where the camera will pick up audio, or you'll just use the backup recording. How crazy is this? I just went from the mountains over there to the beach, to these canyons, and it's like cloudy here and yeah, it's just wild. But number seven is the connections that you have available using the system. So out of the box, you get the cable to connect to your camera. That's what I'm using right now. And you get a cold shoe adapter so you can mount it onto the top of your camera, whether it's forwards or backwards. Now you also get a USB-C connection and a lightning port connection. So if you're someone who shoots on your iPhone, you can plug this into your iPhone and you don't need to have any special attachments. It just comes with everything that you need. And if you're someone who shoots with say the Action 2 that has the USB-C port on the side, well, you can compare this system with your Action 2 and now you have wireless audio with your action camera. So a lot of options and a lot of flexibility just right out of the box. Number eight is that the system is super easy to use. So when you pull the transmitters and the receiver out of the battery pack, well, they turn on automatically and they're ready to start going. And then you have a touch screen where all of your controls are accessible so that you don't have to use any extra app or any sort of computer software like the Rode Wireless Go 2. On the transmitter themselves, you have a mute button and you also have your backup recording button. So you never have to worry about linking up to your receiver to be able to use it as a backup recorder or just an independent recorder. So if you just wanna use the audio recorder by itself without having to connect to a camera or anything like that, you can just have this on 
and turn on your backup recording. And now you have audio recording on this little device. You could also plug in a wireless lavalier. I've been using this strictly just on my chest mount here, but if you wanted to plug in a wireless lavalier, well, there's an input on the top and it allows you to plug in any additional mics into this transmitter. And then with operating these transmitters in this receiver, it's just easy. Everything is very clear on the menu system and you can find exactly what you need super fast. And if you're just someone who needs a simple solution, well, you just plug it in to your camera, pop it on your chest or wherever you're gonna mount it. You don't have to mess with the settings that much to get good, clean audio out of the system. Number nine is that the system is super easy to connect to basically anything that you're wearing. So right now I have the clip on my backpack here and that system works great. I can clip it to my shirt. I could clip it to like a coat or like a jacket or a dress shirt. It's small enough to basically clip onto any article of clothing. But what's great is, see this right here? This is a magnet. It's this little black square that comes with the system is so that you can put the mic on the inside of your clothing so that your transmitter can stay hidden. All you see is the little black square on your clothing. If you are in a situation where you need to hide the microphone, you wanna hide it inside a jacket, inside like a button up, and this little black square could be on the outside, well, it's a really quick way to put the microphone on yourself somewhere without having to use a lavalier mic, and you can just use this transmitter as a standalone on the inside of your clothing. It's a small addition but it adds a lot of flexibility, which makes it easier to use overall. And number 10 is the price. This system costs $329 and the Rode Wireless Go 2 costs $299, but the Rode Wireless Go 2 doesn't come with a charging case. And a lot of these features that come in the DJI mic, you have to buy as add-ons. So this is a full, complete system for a good price, and it gives you a lot of flexibility when you need wireless audio in your videos. This is definitely the system that I'm gonna be continuing to use moving forward, and this is the system that I think a lot of creators are gonna find a lot of success using because it just works super well.